And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to save custom patterns. Let us create a simple pattern as just an example. So I'm going to keep it simple. But in general you can find your patterns right here on the fill and stroke. Let me just, maybe I'll add a circle, but I'll make this a little bit smaller so that our pattern is smaller. I'll give this circle a different color. I'll put it on top of the rectangle, Ctrl A and then Ctrl G to group it. Then I go to Object Pattern and Objects to Pattern. And this is now our pattern 2759. So I can add it to basically any object. If I create a new rectangle and add the pattern, it's already there. First up, I want to rename this so that I have a better overview of my pattern library. I will use the XML editor for it. Find this code line for the SVG 8 in this case, and below it you'll find the devs, in this case devs 2. And there is our pattern, so the 2759, and under ID we can rename that. I'll simply call it tutorial pattern 1. When you rename it, you have to reapply it to the object. So on a fill and stroke, I'll add the pattern and here is our tutorial pattern one now. So we've successfully renamed it. And we can add that to any object as well. So let me just create a star. I go to object fill and stroke, find the pattern option. You make it a bit bigger and you can see that it's our pattern. You could adjust it now with the notes tool. But let me delete it all. If we now want to save it, just go to file, save as, and then put it somewhere where you can find it. I'll just put it onto my desktop for this tutorial. Give it a name. I'll call it tutorial pattern file. And make sure that it's an SVG. Save it. And when you now close your Inkscape and you need your pattern, just open it with this file that you've saved. So open with Inkscape. And now we've got an empty file that contains our pattern. And you can use this as a library. So save all of your patterns into this file and then save it just like this. Let me apply it to something so that you can see that it actually works. And as I've said, you can use the notes tool to adjust it. And here you can see, for example, this X to reposition it or adjust the angle, whatever you want to do. And this is how you can save these custom-made patterns in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.